Merry Feastmas, guys, from Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, good morning guys. So I am here at Bardot Brasserie inside of the Aria Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I am here for their brunch. So I've actually never been here before, but I looked at their brunch menu and it looked amazing. And I knew I just had to come and try it out. It is a French restaurant. So they do have things like croissants. They have the croque madame. They have Benedict's, they have all kinds of things. Um, and the inside is very cute. Uh, I, the inside's very elegant, very simple, but very Parisian. And then there's actually an outdoor patio area, which is where I'm sitting. It's not really outdoors. It's still inside the hotel, but it's out, technically outside of the restaurant. Uh, so that's where I'm sitting right now. And it, the lighting is just a little bit better to show you guys the food. So with that said, let me order and then I'm going to show you guys everything that I'm eating for brunch today. So I hope you're hungry because it's time to eat. So the first thing that I ordered is actually their pastry assortment. It comes with four different pastries. It has a raisin one, it has a rum vanilla one, a chocolate one, and then a sugar, I think she said it was, or like a buttery sugar one. Plain, I guess, would be the better way of saying it. but. Um, so let's try each of these pastries. So this one is the raisin. And they're so flaky and so light. Mm. It's buttery, it's light and flaky. Absolutely delicious. The sweetness of the raisins is just the perfect topping. Perfect. The second one, I'm not gonna try and pronounce because I'm just gonna butcher it, but I will leave what it is right here. And it says that it's like a rum and vanilla infused like cake. So it looks interesting actually. And it's actually quite hard on the outside. So I'm curious if the inside is soft. All right, well, cheers guys. Oh. That's not going to work out. All right, we're going to have to break it. <laughs> Ooh, the inside's definitely like spongy. It definitely has vanilla in it. The outside is very crunchy and quite hard. And the inside's really soft and spongy. So it's an interesting combination. It's gonna sound weird, the outside almost tastes like it's burnt. So, I don't know if that's just the flavor profile. Not my favorite, but it's still, it's still good. I don't know, I have to think on this one. The third one is one of my favorites. It is the Pan au Chocolat, so chocolate. <laughs> All right, let's break this open see where the chocolate is. You can already see how flaky this is. It's just falling apart. I'm probably ruining it by opening it this way, but okay. It doesn't look like there's much chocolate in it, to be honest, but that's okay. It is definitely flaky and light and buttery on the inside though. All right, here we go. The chocolate is semi-sweet, so it's not too sweet, and it really goes well with the butteriness of the, the lightness of the croissant. Absolute perfection. Mm. Mm. This one's my favorite so far. <laughs> the last pastry that comes with this platter is um, again, not going to try and pronounce it. I'm going to leave it right here. <laughs> uh, but it says that it's supposed to have like just a buttery kind of like 
sugar taste. So maybe just kind of like a plain croissant, but in cake form. But let's break it open. Mmm, I love the smell of croissants. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. It is so light. And I know that I keep saying it's so flaky, but it just really is. I mean, look at the inside of this thing. There's so many, there's so many little holes. I just kind of want to bury myself in them and wrap myself in it like a blanket. <laughs> mm. Delicious, this is so good. So one of the other things I got is uh, Oops Mimosa. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but it's basically deviled eggs with caviar. And I thought it just sounded really interesting and upscale. So I thought, you know, let's try it. Here we go, cheers. The deviled eggs are really good. They're not, it's not too vinegary. Um, and the caviar is actually very delicate. Sometimes caviar, depending on the caviar, it can be really overpoweringly, overpoweringly salty. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> the deviled eggs are really good. Um, there's not too much vinegar. It just has like a hint of it. And the caviar is actually very subtle. Some caviars are very, very salty to the point where it's almost too much. Um, but these ones are very subtle in their, in their salt content. And so the combination of them is actually quite good. All right, the last thing I got is the actual smoked salmon Benedict. And this sounded absolutely amazing. So it has the smoked salmon on top of a piece of bread and then the poached egg with the hollandaise. And then it also comes with a little salad. I probably won't eat it because as my mom likes to say, it's weed salad. Mmm. Smoked salmon benedict is excellent. It, I'm not sure what kind of bread they use, but it's not like your traditional English muffin, obviously, because it's got a French twist to it. Um, but it tastes like a croissant. It's flaky and it's buttery. And then the smoked salmon is really nice quality. Um, not overly fishy, not overly salty. And then of course the egg, which was poached perfectly. I love when it's actually the runny egg because um, that's just how I like my Benedicts. And I really enjoyed the hollandaise sauce that it wasn't too uh, strong. It was a very light hollandaise sauce. So it kind of let the other flavors really shine through. And then the, uh, the spinach was a nice addition. Um, I actually wasn't expecting that. It was sauteed spinach. It, you know, had no real flavor to it, so it just soaked in the goodness of the Benedict. But it does add a really nice pop of color to the dish. And I am definitely someone that eats with my eyes first. So this pop of color on the dish really pulled the dish together, in my opinion. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what Bardot Brasserie has to offer for brunch. And as always, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below because I do post videos every week. This is actually part of my 25 Days of Feastmas series. So there's gonna be a new video every day, December 1st through the, uh, December 1st through the 25th. So make sure to check back every day for those new videos. I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.